Hey guys, Silvermord here. So, I know it's a little confusing what with the uh, constant thing going on here. Um, but we are going to learn how to add an automated video sequence, like an intro or an outro, to your OBS studio. So, I have end, which is basically just set with an image that has, well, actually it has nothing right now, but if I click on it, it's actually going to um, show you, unfortunately, nothing. It's it's just going to go straight into nothing. Um, so, what we actually have to do is our main goal is, let's say that this tutorial is going to be for your intro or outro to your stream. So, ignore these two things. Those don't matter. So, what we are going to do is we are going to add, and we are going to add a media source. Assuming that you already have a video pre-created, such as an intro, an outro, anything like that. I actually already have one, so we're going to add that. It would automatically play that, and then once it's done, it should go to this. Perfect. So what it did is it loaded this and then it went to this. Now what you can do is you can essentially create this without these two. Just ignore those. Create this so that it's an intro club then or an intro video a media source file. And then as soon as you're done to it you add a scene. And this is the scene that you want it to go to immediately following the end of that clip. So what we'd want to do is we'd want it to go to end, which will essentially run it to end. So what's going to end up happening, you won't be able to see it. Um, at least you won't be able to see it the way I'm seeing it because I'm using OBS to capture OBS is you are going to see the intro and it's immediately going to go to the end scene which is right here. So what we want to do, it's unfortunately it's not going to work like that, but what's going to end up happening is when you switch to this, don't have these here, but when you switch to it like this, so just pretend these aren't here, it's going to run the intro and then go to end. So intro and then video's done and it actually went to the end so essentially that is the easiest way to have a pre-made intro or pre-made outro or intermission anything like that um, that you want to happen so more or less that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. You don't have to worry about anything and it will automatically, once you click on this, will play this and will then go to this scene, which is right here. And basically it's a black screen right now, but you can set that up to have like a black screen, an image that says something. You can add any image just by going to image. You can add an image slideshow. You actually, you can do a lot of different stuff on this, but long story short, if you wanted to, you could add like an image. I don't, that's uh, uh, ending. There we go. Ending. Yay. So all that really does is just pop up this picture that I can move around anywhere I want or take up the entire screen, but or the sake of not seeing this fucking thing. There we go. Okay, so let's just say it does that. So you can actually have it so that it plays the ending. Wait. Oh, that's the image. So it plays the intro, and then it goes to end, and end can literally just be this image. Or you can have it go to the intro and have it go straight into your streaming scene. The, fa the thing is, is that you need it to be um, OBS Studio, not OBS Normal, 
And you can actually have it like this where you will see exactly as it will transition. Oh, <laughs> helps if I take that off. You can see exactly as it will transition. So you can go from that to that, and you can actually fade it or cut it from one to the other. I swear, it's still, mm, it's still there. There we go. So you can actually like decide to transition from one to the other. And uh, duplicate scenes, du swap preview out, scenes after transitioning transitions, fade, anything like that. But that is exactly how you do it. Another touch up, since I know you guys uh, have been asking, how to do audio on different tracks. This is a huge thing because it makes it so much easier to alter things and adjust levels in post. Um, basically, all you do, go to here, advanced audio, you can do it on any audio. And then it gives you all the different levels. So for example, Intro Club is my, my video that comes in. These are all the different tracks. So some of them have entire tracks going on. I don't want that, obviously, because then it's just going to go on every single track. We don't want that. But the microphone, for example, probably shouldn't be on every single track. But some of them might be on the track as well, you know. So long story short, I'm not going to go into it. You can actually choose which ones go on which. You can also change the sync down mix to mono. You can change the volumes on here, although you can change the volumes just as easily on here. With that said, feel free to post any comments or questions that you have. Um, I'm not amazing at OBS, but I know my way around. So hopefully I can help you out with any questions you have. So thank you for joining me and I hope this has answered your questions. I will see you on the next episode. Mwah. Hey guys, thank you for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, each of you allow me to do all of the things that I, uh, I strive to do for you to keep you entertained and uh, for my own enjoyment. So if you have a moment, why not click the like or subscribe button right below us, as well as check out the website, which is www.quitsgaming.com, and click the link to join our Discord server where we have announcements for other streamers, as well as do group plays and voice chatting. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you then.